हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ फार्माकोलॉजी विच वी आर डूइंग फ्रॉम मिनी कैटन चैप्टर फोर्टी नाइन आज स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ अबाउट एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स सो ऑब्वियसली एज द नेम इंडिकेट दीज आर गोइंग टू बी द ड्रग्स विच एक्ट अगेंस्ट वायरसेज और वायरसेज की डिफरेंट क्लास है जो uh, हमें डिस्कस करनी है बेसिकली इस चैप्टर में जिनके अगेंस्ट ड्रग्स पे हम बात करेंगे वी विल टॉक अबाउट ड्रग्स ऑन हरपीस इन्फेक्शन टूडे सो हरपीस के अगेंस्ट जो ड्रग्स हैं एंटाई हरपीस दैट्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो दैन ऑब्वियसली वी विल हैव अ सेपरेट वीडियो फॉर एंटाई एच आई वी ड्रग्स एंटाई एच बी वी एंड एच सी वी ड्रग्स एंड ऑल्सो ड्रग्स अवेलेबल अगेंस्ट इन्फ्लुएंजा वायरस सो दस गोइंग टू बी अ बिगर डोमेन एंटाई वायरल एजेंट्स जो हैं एंड दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स इसमें बहुत कन्फ्यूज भी रहते हैं और एग्जाम्स में ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट भी है दे आस्क क्वाइट अ लॉट अबाउट एंटाई वायरल ड्रग्स एंटी बैक्टीरियल स्टूडेंट्स का जो है वो एक स्ट्रॉग डोमेन होता है सेफ्लोस्पोरेंस पेनिसलाइन वो काफ़ी अच्छे से पढ़ते हैं एंटी वायरल्स में आई डोंट नो वर हैपन्स टू दैम बट एनी वेज आई एम गोइंग टू स्प्लिट दिस चैप्टर इन टू दीज फोर वीडियोज एट द लीस्ट और आज की वीडियो का टॉपिक है ड्रग्स फॉर हरपीज वायरसेज ओके सो जनरल इंट्रोडक्ट्री पैराग्राफ देख लेते हैं कैटजंग में हमेशा ये बड़ा अच्छा है कि स्टार्ट में एक येलो बॉक्स होता है सो द रेप्लीकेशन ऑफ वायरसेज डिपेंड्स ऑन सिंथेरिक प्रोसेस ऑफ द हो सेल्स का मतलब ये है कि इफ दिस इज योर सेल सो दिस इज योर ब्यूटिफुल बॉडी एंड दिस इज वन सेल आउट ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड इफ दिस इज अ वायरस सो द वायरस हैज टू गेट इन टू योर सेल एंड यूज योर सिंथेटिक मशीनरी दैट्स हाउ द वायरस इज प्रोपगेट एंड यू नो दिस वेरी वेल तो एंटाई वायरल ड्रग्स जो है दे कैन एग्जर्ट दियर एक्शन एट सेवरल स्टेजेस ऑफ वायरल रेप्लीकेशन Uh, at the point of viral entry, for example, at the point of nucleic acid synthesis and integration, uh, protein synthesis, uh, as well as uh, at the final stages of viral packaging and virion release. So, if you look at this initial diagram, this diagram we will come back to in this chapter. Mein. So, this, for example, is the mammalian host cell, which has entered the virus. Ne enter hona. So, that's the virus. At the virus enters inside the cell. So, there are drugs which uh, block. the viral entry so at this point so that's so let's say for example let's call it point a to jo drugs yahan kaam kar rahi hain we have drugs against hcv uh, herpes simplex uh, docosanol so this particular drug acts at this point hiv ki category mein there is maraviroc um, respiratory syncytial virus ki category mein there is pilivizumab so there are different drugs which act at the point of entry of virus then um you know entry and penetration ke baad obviously there are so many different steps uh, so there are steps w- which involve viral nucleic acid material replication to wahan pe kuch drugs kaam kar rahi hain then there are drugs jo ke packaging ke level pe kaam karti hain jab virus package ho ke dobara release hota hai into the blood so there are drugs that work at this level so this diagram is very nicely showing you ki what are the different levels where the drugs basically work most of the drugs active against herpes viruses and many agents active against human immunodeficiency virus which is hiv are anti metabolite category which are structurally similar to a naturally occurring compound so that's what the definition of anti metabolites is the selective toxicity of antiviral drugs usually depend on greater susceptibility of viral enzymes to their inhibitory actions and the host in cell enzymes so um we will talk about this later when we do specific drugs ke how do these drugs specifically uh, kind of kill the viruses inhibit the viruses and spare the host cell one of the most important trend in viral chemotherapy especially in the management of hiv infection has been the introduction of combination drug therapy this can result in greater clinical effectiveness in viral infection and can also prevent delay um, and also uh, stop the emergence of resistance so multi drug therapy combination therapy that's been key in so many other infections as well so for example bacterial infection so for example other uh, for even in fungal infections combination therapy is a success story so that has also been tried a lot in uh, viral therapy okay so again focus on this table and today our focus will be on that bit only okay so drugs for herpes so let's start anti herpes drugs so most drugs active against herpes viruses are anti metabolites bioactivated via viral or host cell kinases that's an important point to understand see if this is your host cell and that's the virus which enters into the cell so uh, in order for a drug to work on this particular virus the drug uh, has to number one enter the cell and then it has to be activated 
um, by kinases. Now, those kinases can be residing within the viral genome or they can be the kinases of the host. We will talk about them in a minute. But uh, activation of the drug is a general phenomena for anti-herpes drugs. So, let's start talking about the first drug, which is acyclovir. Very commonly, uh, you know, prescribed drug and you know this drug perhaps. So, what is its mechanism of action? Kya hai? It's a governozine analog. I had to start with this thing because they are anti-metabolites. They are structurally similar to naturally occurring compound. And in this case, which naturally occurring compound is Gavanozine, which is analog. Hai. It's active against herpes simplex virus 1 as well as 2 and varicella zoster virus. The drug is activated initially by viral kinases. So the drug is activated by something which is encoded by the viral genome. So viral kinases say drug activate hoti hai, uh, in uh, order to form acyclovate triphosphate. And this then interferes with the viral synthesis in two ways. Number one, it acts as a competitive substrate for DNA polymerase. So actually, your viral um, DNA polymerase, se jo viral uh, application or uh, nucleic acid synthesis ka kaam hona tha wo stop ho jayega because that's a competitive inhibitor uh, virus ki jagah ye apne aap ko pesh kar deta ke come on dna polymerase work on me that sort of thing okay and uh, it leads to chain termination after incorporation into viral dna so viral uh, dna ki aisi ki tasi ho gayi ab kyunki ye jo drug hai is cyclovir iski activation ho rahi hai by a viral kinase so virus is are smart you know virus is see it this way so say for example if this is the viral genome and that is the drug or viral genome uh, ek particular viral kinase bana raha hai jo is drug ko actually activate kar raha hai let's say double star ab virus sochega ke yaar main apni hi against is drug ko activate kar raha no 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 ye to mera genome hai mujhe isme koi na koi tabdili lani hogi mujhe isme koi na koi mutation karni hogi so i will change my genome and now the changed genome this is what the virus is saying okay now this changed genome cannot activate the drug so that is how the resistance to the drug develop okay resistance of hcv uh, hsv can involve changes in the viral dna polymerase so viruses tend to change their dna polymerase however many resistant strains of herpes simplex virus lack thymidine kinase the enzyme involved in viral specific phosphorylation of acyclovir the point is that acyclovir is commonly prescribed again hsv12 and varicella zoster infection but its resistance ho sakti hai by the mechanism which i just told you which is changes in the um, DNA polymerase and kinases. Okay. Now, such strains are cross resistant to uh, femcyclovir, gencyclovir, velocyclovir. So, if resistance with one class of drug, it is common to have resistance with the other class of drug as well. What is the pharmacokinetics of this acyclovir drug? It can be administered by multiple routes, topical, oral, IV. And because of its short half-life, oral administration requires multiple daily dosages of acyclovir so that you have a, a you know, maintained level for uh, drug effectiveness. Renal excretion is the major source of elimination for acyclovir and the dose should be adjusted in those patients who have renal impairment, common sense. Now, clinical utility, oral acyclovir is commonly used for the treatment of mucocutaneous and genital herpes. Okay, easy to understand. And also for prophylaxis in HIV positive patients and in other immunocompromised patients, such as those who are having organ transplantation. Now, the oral drug is well tolerated, but maybe uh, may cause GI distress and headache. These are the common side effects. Intravenous administration is used for severe herpetic disease, including encephalitis or neonatal herpes infections. And the toxic uh, effects include uh, tremor, scissors, hypotension. Um, acyclovir has no significant toxicity on the bone marrow. That's an important point because many of the anti-metabolite drugs do have this uh, side effect. Now, other drugs for HSV and varicella zoster, uh, VSV infection. Now, several newer agents have been uh, you know, characterized now, which are very similar to those uh, as just discussed for acyclovir. Velocyclovir, for example, is a product converted to acyclovir by hepatic metabolism after oral administration. So, you take this drug, it is then converted into acyclovir. Okay. <clears throat> and it reaches the plasma levels three to five times greater than those achieved by the acyclovir. That's the benefit of getting velocyclovir. The plasma levels are much, much more higher. Okay. Velocyclovir has longer duration of action as compared to acyclovir. 
सो दैट इज अ सुपर ड्रग अल्टीमेटली कन्वर्ट ये हो रही है साइक्लोवेर में बट uh, इसके कुछ बेनिफिट्स हैं पेनी साइक्लोवेर अंडर गोज एक्टिवेशन बाय वायरल थाइमिडिन काइनेस एंड द ट्राई फॉस्फेट फॉर्म इनहिबिट्स द डीएनए पॉलीमरेज बट डज नॉट कॉज इस चेन टर्मिनेशन फिर फेम साइक्लोवेर इज अ ड्रग व्हिच इज कन्वर्टेड टू पेनी साइक्लोवेर एंड देन देयर इज अनदर ड्रग कॉल्ड डोकेजनॉल इट्स एन एलिफेटिक अल्कोहल दैट इनहिबिट्स द फ्यूजन ऑफ एचएसबी एनवेलप विद द प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन सो इट एक्ट्स एट द लेवल ऑफ एंट्री ऑफ द वायरस इफ यू रिमेंबर ओके डोकेजनॉल so these are all the drugs which you have to remember which act against uh, herpes or uh, isme jo parent drug hai uh, jo abhi tak hum baat kar rahe hain that is the acyclovir that is must know stuff and another drug that we have to talk about is uh, gen cyclovir or gen cyclovir many people use it uh, like this alag alag pronunciation use karte hain aur iska mechanism of action kya hai it is also a governing derivative is triphosphorylated to form a nucleotide that inhibits dna polymerase of cytomegalovirus also of hsv since this is the topic we are going to discuss this drug okay and it causes chain termination so again it is interfering with the dna synthesis rna synthesis type of thing the first phosphorylation step is catalyzed by virus specific enzyme in both cmv infected and hsv infected uh, cells uh, because the virus specific enzyme is involved for activation obviously viruses can have mutation and therefore uh, the drug can not be effective and this is what we call the drug resistance so drug resistance can develop okay and uh, pharmacokinetic wise uh, gencyclovir is usually given iv and it penetrates well into a lot of tissues including eyes as well as cns so imagine uh, if there is eye involvement and cns involvement that could be the drug of choice the drug undergoes renal elimination in direct proportion to creatinine clearance again if somebody has renal impairment you have to adjust the dosages an intraocular implant of gencyclovir can be used in cmv retinitis so because it can penetrate eye uh, cmv retinitis may this is the drug of choice um, well gencyclovir is a product of gencyclovir has high oral bioavailability and has decreased the use of intravenous form of gencyclovir and also so that is a drug which is now developed it also gives rise to gencyclovir is much well tolerated that sort of thing okay clinical use and toxicity is used primarily for prophylaxis and treatment of cmv retinitis so since it can enter into the eye tissue that's a very good property it is used for cmv retinitis and other cmv infections so not primarily used for hsv but since we are doing uh, hsv video today and the drug is also active against hsv we have to discuss this but primary use you see is against cytomegalovirus okay then we have uh, cytofovir which is a phosphonate and is actively activated exclusively by the host cell now that is the first drug that we are discussing which is activated by the host cell kinase humne pehli drug discuss ki acyclovir this is activated by a viral kinase then we talked about the other category which is gencyclovir it is also activated by uh, viral enzyme but now this drug is activated by host cell kinase and therefore its like benefit hai benefit ye hai ki ab agar virus ka genome is drug ko activate nahi kar raha तो वायरस के जीनोम में म्यूटेशन से इस ड्रग की एक्टिवेशन पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सो दैट इज अ वेरी वेरी बिग एडवांटेज ओके सो डीएनए पॉलिमरेज ऑफ एच एस वी एन सी एम वी एंड एडिनो वायरस एज एन एच पी वी ये सारे जो हैं द एक्टिव डायफॉस्पेट इनहिबिट्स इन सब का डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज इनहिबिट होता है बाई दिस पर्टिकुलर ड्रग सो ये ड्रग होस्ट सेल में एंटर होती है होस्ट सेल का इंजाइम यूज होता है इसकी एक्टिवेशन के लिए और फिर ये जाके वायरसेस पे अटैक करता है इन सारे वायरसेस पे बिकॉज फॉस्पोरेशन डज नॉट रिक्वायर अ वायरल काइनेज सुने बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आ रहा है क्योंकि वायरल काइनेज इन्वॉल्व ही नहीं है साइडोफोर इज एक्टिव अगेंस्ट द मेनी स्पीशीज विच आर ए साइक्लोवेर एंड गैन साइक्लोवेर रेजिस्टेंट बिकॉज ये जो दो ड्रग्स हैं साइक्लोवेर और गैन साइक्लोवेर दे आर एक्टिवेटेड बाई द वायरल जीनोम एंड वायरल जीनोम बिकम्स स्मार्टर गेट्स म्यूरेड एंड नाउ द ड्रग इज नॉट एक्टिवेटेड लेकिन साइडोफोवेर because it is activated by the host cell iska virus genome se taluq nahi hai therefore resistant strains ke against this is a very good option okay so it is active against uh, cmv retinitis mucocutaneous herpes including those which are resistant that is my catch line because in clinics if i have resistant patients this is the one that i think about another drug which is anti herpes uh, is foscarnate which is a phosphoformate derivative that does not require phosphorylation now that is another category 
ऑफ ड्रग विच इज इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर बिकॉज इसकी एंटी वायरल एक्टिविटी के लिए इसको फॉस्फोराइलेशन चाहिए ही नहीं ना वायरल जीनोम से ना ही होस्ट इंजाइम से सो ना वायरल इंजाइम्स इन्वॉल्व है ना होस्ट इंजाइम इन्वॉल्व है इसको फॉस्फोराइलेशन की जरूरत ही नहीं है एक्टिविटी के लिए ऑल दो इट इज नॉट एन एंटी मेटाबोलाइट फॉस कार्ड इट इनहेबिट्स वायरल आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज एंड डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज एंड एच आई वी रिवर्स ट्रांसक्रिप्ट सो इट्स प्रीडी गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ खिलिंग ऑल दीज वायरसेज इट इज गिवेन आई वी एंड इट पेनीट्रेट्स वेल इन टू द टिश्यूज इंक्लूडिंग सी एन एस ओके रीनल एलिमिनेशन विच इज प्रपोर्शनल टू क्रियाटिन क्लियरेंस विच मीन्स अगर किडनी डिजीजेज हैं तो आपको डोज एडजस्ट करना पड़ेगा इट इज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर प्रोफेलेक्स एंड ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सी एम वी इन्फेक्शन इंक्लूडिंग सी एम वी रेटिनाइटस फॉस्कार्नेट इनहेबिट्स हर पीस डी एन ए पॉलीमरेज इन ए साइक्लोवि रेजिस्टेंट स्ट्रेन सो दैट्स अ गुड वन ओके um there are some other anti herpes drugs which you should remember now these are the must know you must know acyclovir you must know gencyclovir you must know foscarnate and then we uh, and, and and also cytofovir now there are some other names to remember as well uh, for example vidarabine um it is an adenine ab tak hum jo baat kar rahe the they were either gavarin analogs or not an anti metabolite such as foscarnate Uh, but this one is an adenine analog and has activity against all these viruses whereas lazoster herpes simplex and cytomegalo its use for systemic infection is limited to rapid metabolic inactivation and marked toxic potential okay vidarabine is used topically for herpes keratitis so that's a potential use and toxic effects with systemic use include gi irritation so pretty toxic aur sath mein ye bhi important point is dekhe vidarabine has been reported to be teratogenic in animal so basically uh, i mean it's a drug which is active against a lot of viruses including herpes but its capacity side effects or toxicity profile kafi heavy hai then i doxuridine and trifluridine these are pyrimidine analogs and are used topically in hsv infection particularly hsv1 they are too toxic for systemic use dekhen iska bhi yahi issue tha vidarabin ka bhi inka bhi yahi issue hai too toxic for systemic use so i would be very cautious uh, when prescribing these drugs then formivirin uh, is an antisense oligonucleotide that binds to messenger rna of cytomegalovirus Um, inhibiting early protein synthesis the drug is injected intravitreally for the treatment of cmv retinitis and cross resistance between uh, formivirin and other anti cmv drugs has not been observed concurrent systemic anti cmv therapy is recommended to protect against extra ocular manifestation so uh, if you ask me these are the drugs jinke aapko naam pata hone chahiye aur sath ye pata hona chahiye ki ye mainstream drugs nahi hai herpes ke liye jo mainstream drugs hain wo acyclovir agar aapko nahi pata to mamla kharab hai if you don't know about gencyclovir if you don't know about foscarnate and cytofovir चार ड्रग्स हैं भाई जो आपने याद रखनी है एंड इन ड्रग्स के बारे में सारी इंपॉर्टेंट बातें हैं कि कौन सा वायरल काइनेजिस को यूज करता है कौन सा होस्ट काइनेजिस को यूज करता है दैट्स ऑल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके सो दैट्स ऑल अबाउट दी हरपीस स्टाफ नेक्स्ट वीडियो में फिर मैं आपसे बात करूंगा एंटाई एच ड्रग्स के बारे में कि एड्स uh, के लिए हम कौन कौन से ड्रग्स इस वक्त हमारे पास टूल्स मौजूद हैं ओके सो ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट प्लीज शेयर द वीडियो विद यर कॉलिग्स एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल यार अगर अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है और मिलते हैं फिर अगली वीडियो में मजीद बात को आगे बढ़ाएंगे टेक केयर ऑफ योर